Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my 2022 Honda EXL. Uh, MSRP is about 42,000 on these things. So my impression was that this vehicle was gonna be extremely plush and loaded, loaded out, which it pretty much is. But I have to say there's one glaring um, quality and plushness that is missing on this vehicle and it is almost like I almost thought the dealership was pulling a gag on me when I saw these it looked like uh, um, you'd get it at Walmart but let me show so you we're looking at the floor mats uh, in the EXL version which is a pretty high up version I think there's a touring ahead of it but um, I literally I'm not kidding I literally thought the dealer was playing a gag on me when I saw these because they look like something you'd get at like Walmart for the uh, a doormat section for like five bucks each. I mean, it's like insanely cheap looking. Let me zoom in a bit, but it just looks like some really cheap Berber. You can even see like right here, it's coming undone. I mean, it's like for an EXL $42,000 MSRP vehicle, you would expect way higher quality than that. I mean, so anyways, what I'm gonna do is, um, I already put an order in, got my shipment in for a, um, uh, a weather tack or a rubber liner version of it. Um, I did some shopping around and um, found a really good deal, about 120 bucks for all three rows. So. I got the uh, two fronts, the uh, middle section, and then in the back, uh, there's a small piece. So I'm going to be uh, showing you how uh, this looks after I install it. So, as I said before, I did some uh, research on uh, liners. Um, so you can get the OEM version of it. I think it was like around um, 260 then the weather tech, which is also extremely reputable, was um, I think for all three rows around 240. But then I searched around more and I found this company. It's called um, Lasfit, L-A-S-F-I-T, and they were uh, approximately 110 bucks. And I honestly, I'm still not 100% sure if it's going to work. It said fits Honda Odyssey 2022, but. Um, I'm gonna do a little box open here and uh, we can take a look. So you can see here, this is uh, either the front passenger or driver, but um, it actually feels really solid. It feels really solid. Uh, it seems to have the, um, the holes that keep it locked in place. And there's a little, um, it's hard to see, but there's the toggle in here. So this looks legit. Um, it says last fit. I mean, not that it matters. It's, I mean, if it said weather tech, maybe it would sound cooler, but it still looks really solid. It's a really, looks like a really solid product. This looks like um, the uh, middle section. And this is probably the uh, this is probably the driver's side, but it feels heavy, not super heavy, but it's heavy enough. It also has these like uh, these side walls. I was looking at a few other brands and they didn't have the side wall, which I really wanted. Just gives it that cleaner look. Plus, it protects your carpet a little more. Then this is the third row. I think it's got a, a little bit of a curve from packaging, but once it warms up, it'll flatten out. And this has like the stubble on back, so it grips the carpeting. But I'm gonna install these and we'll see how they look. So installing these, the first thing I'm gonna do is just move my seat all the way back. No big deal. And then you'll see, um, you can even see it's only got like 500 miles on it and this is already, starting to wear down it's super cheap but anyways they got these toggles basically turn it to line up the slots and then you can pull it out all my uh, driver's side basically the thing you want to be careful about is um, you don't want any interference with your brake 
rear gas pedal with these and that's why they have the uh, locking mechanisms. So you gotta make sure it's slid up enough so it fits in and then make sure your uh, toggles line up. In this case, I have everything lined up so I'm just gonna turn my toggle. Okay, so I have it installed and uh, I gotta say it looks extremely sharp. Um, it's got this kind of like uh, this uh, layering so um, instead of tucking it in underneath it goes over the top which I think is fine um, and the fit and finish is pretty good it goes pretty far back in you can see and then um, I did a little test and I did not see any interference with this but I, I will take it for a little ride to just make sure but you can see how nice it looks it looks way cleaner So I got these installed. I didn't want to bore you with uh, the installation process, but uh, super excited about this. I mean, for 120 bucks or less, it gives it a super clean look. Uh, the durability is going to be there. It's just a plastic product. But uh, let me uh, give you a so These are the fronts. They fit really nice. Gives it a really like uh, clean look too. I mean, we got... Uh, salty wet winters in uh, the north the midwest so this is definitely going to help but um definitely all the all the fit and finishes are there again this is going to kind of relax when it gets a little warmer but um you can see how well it fits so so again i'm not endorsing this product it's called last fit it's just a product that i saw that was i don't want to say this um uh, any other way but it was the cheapest priced one I could find and uh, in the pictures it looked pretty legit so I took a chance on it and uh, I mean the product's good it's it's solid and once it settles down it's gonna it's gonna do just fine so no need to pay that much for WeatherTech I mean in the end is WeatherTech or, or the OEM Honda product better maybe it's slightly better but this is half the price if I ever needed to I could buy another set down the road but uh, I'm really happy with uh, how it looks. Hopefully um, this video was informative to you.